this is our driveway and to you it probably looks pretty harmless doesn't look particularly dangerous or aggressive but in reality this driveway has got a darker side G'day, welcome to Farming Live Australia. I wanted to come up near the front gates where I've stored some grass clippings as you can see behind me and I'm going to use them to mulch a bit of my garden to retain the moisture around some of my plants. And when I thought about doing it, I remembered a couple of funny incidents. Well, they probably weren't real funny. One was a bit serious, but a couple of strange things that happened with our driveway. While I'm doing this job, I'll tell you about it. The first incidents happened, oh, it was a fair while ago now, but we were sitting inside after lunch, having a cup of tea, and I heard a noise outside, and I thought, oh, that's a bit strange, what's that? And, uh, and I looked out, and there was a car outside there, and the motor was idling, and I didn't see anyone get out of it. But the really strange thing was, it had run into one of our palm trees and that's where it had come to rest. And I thought, oh, pretty strange. <clears throat> get in there. So anyway, I didn't take much notice and eventually I heard the car rev up at a bit and then the motor get turned off and I thought that's all pretty strange. It was sitting out there idling for about 10 minutes and I was sort of a bit puzzled. I thought, I oh, wonder what's going on. Anyway, I knew the bloke and he came in and sort of looked a bit sheepish and I said, what's going on? And I said, how come you run into me palm tree? He said, oh, he said, I parked up at the gate to undo the gate and I undid the gate and then I drove through it. And then I got out of the car to close the gate. When I looked around, the car had gone. And he said, I saw it slowly going down your driveway until it run into the palm tree and stopped. And I said, well, oh, okay, well, do you normally just get out of your car with it running without the handbrake or in gear or nothing? I said, oh, well, you know, it's level up there. I didn't sort of think it'd take off or anything. Anyway, there was no real harm done, but if the car would have turned a bit more to the right, there is actually a loading ramp, and if it went over that, it would have done a lot of no good to it. So that was all right. Time went on and I sort of forgot about it. I'm in the shed this day. I heard a car pull up up in the driveway and I thought, oh yeah, okay, well, someone's coming. A bit of time went by and I didn't hear any more noise or anything happening and that was all right. I sort of thought, oh, maybe they went over to the house or, you know, they'll find me eventually. When I listened, I could sort of hear swearing and moaning and groaning and puffing and panting and I thought, oh, what's going on out there? So naturally I went out and had a look and three quarters of the way down our driveway, there's actually another gate that's on the edge of our house yard. There's a car parked at the gate and beside the car I can see someone laying on the ground. And they were moving, so I didn't think, well, they're dead or anything. So I wandered up and it was an old bloke I knew and he's on the ground and I said, oh, what's going on? Anyway, he said, oh, the bloody car had run over me foot. I said, oh, okay, and he was in a fair bit of distress. So anyway, I helped him get up and took him down to the house and just left the car where it was. Anyway, I said to him, how did you happen to get into that predicament. said, oh, well, I came up to the gate and, and got out to open the gate and I noticed the car was moving. Before the car completely got away, he tried to get back in to put the handbrake on. In the process, he actually fell out of the car halfway in or something like that. I don't know exactly what. One of his legs went under the car and the car rolled over his foot or leg, I'm not sure which. We settled him down and gave him a cup of tea and I can't remember what he came for. 
and after a while he stopped moaning and groaning and off he went. I guess the moral of the story is you can't trust our driveway. You can't really believe that things that happen in a driveway. I guess in the country they are a lot longer than in town and I guess that gives you more scope for misadventure but geez. While I'm watering me plants I'll just tell you one final bit of a story. This isn't exactly a driveway attacking people, this is more like people attacking a driveway. A few years ago on a cattle station in Western Queensland who shall remain nameless to protect the guilty and the innocent and I tell you what there weren't many innocent in this story. Christmas day rolled around and bright and early in the morning the neighbours three boys turned up and when I say boys their sons were averaged between probably 25 and 32 or 3 so they weren't really boys but anyway and of course being Western Queensland they work hard and they play even harder first things first beer so they started having a few beers and telling a few yarns and carrying on. Things got pretty merry. One of them went into the pantry and found a bottle of OP rum that the station's owner's father had and they'd been saving it since he died. And they decided it was a fitting occasion to open this bottle of OP rum. So they opened the rum and of course one thing led to another and things really got out of hand and they left the place about one o'clock in the afternoon and the mother of the boys had rang up and said where are they Christmas dinner's been ready for two hours and it's going to be ruined and everyone involved was in trouble so the boys in a sudden fit of remorse thought gee we better go home so they headed off home and that was all right no more was said or done nothing was heard and then a couple of days later the bloke I know went to his front gate and his front gates were all bent, one was on upside down and the gate post was all wrecked. So he thought back and he thought who's been in here and he could only think of the people next door on Christmas Day. So he rang them up and he said listen you blokes didn't happen to do some damage to me front gates did you? They said oh yeah sorry about that we lost it going out the gates and hit the gate post and but we fixed it all up. He said, well, no, not really. He said, one gate's still on upside down. Not only that, the gate post's all loose and the gates are dragging on the ground and it's all wrecked. They said, oh, look, sorry about that. We didn't realise that in our drunken state. We thought it was all all right. So anyway, bright and early the next morning, they turn up with new gates and a post and proceeded to fix it. And the blokes were telling me, mate, they said, look, you better not come round home for a while. Mum's pretty upset with you. And he said, why is she upset with me? He said, oh, well, we got home. We were too sick to eat Christmas dinner. It was all burnt to a crisp and ruined the whole of Christmas. And so we sort of told him that you wouldn't take no for an answer and gave us that AP rum. To this day, she still looks at him with an evil eye and won't talk to him. So, <laughs> so driveways can get you into trouble. And so can AP rum, I guess. Well, that's enough stories from me for today. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. We'll see you next time.